I'm delighted to be able to give a talk for the session in the memorial of Dr. Shoran Sigaba. The purpose of my presentation is to give an overview of researches and standardization activities on quantum characterization in Japan. These have been carried out in many countries. As a result, ISO 9950 was established in 1995. While Japan has significant classical studies on the test systems using the probe, iron chromium nickel alloy cylindrical, chromium aluminum spherical, and silver cylindrical probes. Finally, JISK 2526 was established using a silver cylindrical probe in 1965. A working group of uh, Japan Society for Heat Treatment participated in the IFHTSE's Liquid Quantum Database Project to determine the heat transfer coefficient. Meanwhile, the group has been developing prototype uh, apparatus using a small spherical probe. This slide shows a simplified chronology of the works on quantum characterization, mainly in Japan. The early theoretical work in this field was done by Engel at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. In this study, a small spherical probe was recommended because of the availability of the ramped heat capacity method. A 20 mm diameter silver spherical probe specified by Rose based on Engels' concept, continue to be used in the same institute and others. While researches using syndrical probe had been carried out in many countries, in Japan, Sato published a method using an iron chromium nickel alloy probe in the 1930s. While Tawara reported a method influenced by Engels in the early 1940s. Additionally, Nagaya and Tamura developed a method using a silver cylindrical probe in the 1950s. This research was later adopted as JIS standard. Eventually, in the 1980s, the Wolfson Heat Treatment Center published a specification for tests using an inclined cylindrical probe. This became the basis for ISO and ASTM regulation. In the 2010s, Japan Society for Heat Treatment has been working to restore the concept of the Tawara's test. In any case, the current standards are mainly based on tests using syndrical probes. This is a photo of the test app apparatus developed by Sato using an iron chromium nickel alloy cylindrical probe. This part is enlarged and shown on the right. The probe is 6 mm in diameter and 19 mm in length, which is inserted into the furnace and heated. It is then rotated 19 degree downward and immersed in a tank. Next changes in the probe are converted to temperature changes and plotted mechanically on the graph on the drum by a correction using the coarse tip. As an example, Sato coated a muddy mixture of clay, graphite powder, abrasive powder, and borax with water on the probe surface and obtained cooling curves in water as shown as the dotted lines. The solid curves show the case without coating. Whereas the photos in the slide uh, were extracted from films of experiment using with a probe of slightly different dimensions of reference. Sato described that in the case of the coating, fine bubbles are actively generated 
in the service group, the initial uh, cooling stage. Para measure and graph the cooling characteristics of, for example, rape seed oil, new fish oil, all fish oil, and mixed oil from 830 degrees Celsius using Sato's apparatus. The result uh, presented as cooling rate curves, really showing the different properties of the various oils and their temperature dependence. The effect of mixing raped oil and all fish oil are also clarified. Here, the main part of Taubra's system are displayed. His spherical probe is supported by metal wire from both sides and is cooled by rotating in the quintum. A relative flow is generated due to the rotational movement of the probe and convection is also induced due to temperature difference. The wall of the probe is manufactured by joining the 4 mm diameter chromium and aluminum hemispheres. The junction acts as a sum cup. Each hemisphere is joined to a 0.2 mm diameter metal wire of the same material as hemispheres, which also serves to support the weight of the sphere. Tawara conducted cooling tests at 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 degrees Celsius for various quintum. Shown here uh, cooling curves obtained for tap water and soybean oil, in which no disturbance uh, observed. Cooling rate curves are uh, reported for various quintum, in which clearly indicate difference in their cooling properties as shown in this example. Tangaya and Tamara's test apparatus is shown here. When the handle is moved to open the red handle furnace, the cylindrical probe is mechanically immersed into the quantum in the beaker. The silver probe is 10 mm in diameter and 30 mm in long. The sum couple is fabricated by joining the end of chromium wire on the silver surface, which is installed at two locations on the surface and in the center of the block. Tagaya and Tamura plotted green curves obtained using probes of different diameters and different sum couple positions on the graph whose horizontal axis is the amount of time divided by nth power of diameter. It was found that these curves can be integrated into a master curling curve if the parameter n is set appropriately. Quentin were classified into three groups based on the cooling characteristics. Tagai and Tamura developed a chart to determine the quench severity of steel using the cooling test based on Grossman test of steel specimens and heat transfer analysis for silver probes. Once the time T required for the temperature drop from 800 to 300 degrees Celsius is known from the silver probe cooling curve, the quench severity HAG of the silver probe is obtained by fitting this to the straight line T HAG. From HAG, the quench severity HFE of steel can be obtained based on the curve corresponding to the quintant group. Agoya and Tamura state that the above method involves many assumption and should be used with caution, but that no other method is currently available. Based on the research of Tagaya and Tamura, 
JSK 2526 was established in 1965. Unlike the Tangai and Tamaraz probe, the standard probe measures the cooling curve only on its surface. Meanwhile, in 1995, ISO 9950 using Inkona probe was established. In response to this situation, JIS was revised in 2006. A new provision was added for water soluble quintant, method B, which used a silver probe with a sample inserted in the center. With the spread of heat treatment simulations, heat transfer coefficient of quintant has become necessary. And IFHTC launched the Liquid Quintant Database Project to obtain such data in 2011. The project suggests to use the method B in JS2242 for the HTC. As part of the LQD project, a working group in Japan Society for Heat Treatment applied the ramped heat capacity method to obtain the coefficient for from cooling curves with the JIS test. Examples will be shown in the next slide. This slide shows an example of HTC curves which demonstrate the effect of different vessel pressure on HTC. Obtained data are available as 38 sheets of Excel format on the website of the Japan Society for Heat Treatment. Most of the data reported here are based on cooling curves using a, a, a method. The working group of Japan Society for Heat Treatment is continuing to develop a prototype test apparatus to confirm the concept of the Tawara method. The main objective is to confirm that the ramped heat capacity method can be used with a small spherical probe even for material with poor thermal conductivity. First, for the low tree palm prototype, we developed a probe in which a 4 mm sphere is supported from one side by a 0.5 mm diameter tube. This prototype confirmed that the platinum probe could be manufactured reasonably. This slide includes a video of the operating process of the rotary arm prototype. The probe is heated from two directions by a halogen lamp, then moved in a circular motion by a motor and cooled in the quintant. The quintant volume is about 500 ml. Integrated system of PC for measuring temperature and controlling heater and motor was developed by the RubView program language. Similarly, a system was developed to obtain cooling rate, heat transfer coefficient, and heat flux. This test takes about 30 seconds. The prototype was applied to a 10% aqueous polymer solution of 20 degrees of Celsius and cooling curves and heat transfer coefficient temperature curves were obtained. The curves show little overall uh, variation. HTC data were averaged over a range of 500 to 600 degrees of Celsius to examine the effect of solution temperature and probe rotation speed.
The same test as on the previous slide was performed for solution at 40 degrees of Celsius. The curve showed little overall variation. HTC data were averaged over the same range as before. An increase in HTC occurred during the early stage of the problem. The same test as on the previous slide was performed for solution at uh, 60 degrees of Celsius. The curves varied after vapor film collapse. HTC data were averaged over the same range as before. An increase in HTC similar to that on the previous slide. Here, the average HTC between 500 and 600 degrees of Celsius are displayed as a 3D graph that depends on the record temperature and the tangential speed of the probe rotation. For this stable state, the graph reveals the effect of record temperature and probe tangential speed on HTC. In the previous test, phenomena occurring in the quantum around the probe were captured by a high-speed camera. As an example, here are pictures of the vapor film and vapor collapse stage extracted from the video for liquid temperature of 20 and 60 degree of Celsius and uh, probe potential velocity of 17.5 mm per second. Convective effect can be seen in these photographs. This slide contains a high-speed video taken during the test at liquid temperature of 60 degree of Celsius, tangential velocity of 17.5 mm per second. Only characteristic seen during the initial cooling with the free vapor film collapse is spread back. In this slide, only characteristic seen during the stable vapor film formation is spread back. In this slide, only characteristic seen during the vapor film collapse is spread back. The prototype project involved the development based on the different design. The unique feature of this apparatus is that the quintant container is elevated. This simplifies conditions of the phenomena around the probe. Its appearance is shown on the left side of the slide, including the probe, heater, heater retraction actuator, container, and control panel. The operation of the prototype can be seen in the video. The test conditions are shown here. The test cycle takes less than one minute. Here, the heating process is partially shown. Then the rest is spread separately. This slide shows cooling HTC curves in 10% aqueous PEG polymer solution at 20 degrees Celsius from the prototype. The container was elevated at three different velocities. The photos from A to H are extracted from the obtained high-speed video. Here we focus on photo C and D. 
the upper part of the vapor film is disturbed by the effect of the pre-vapor film collapse at the spot tube. This phenomenon appears also as a small peak on the HTC curve. The probe is cooled with the vapor film disturbed at the top. Then the collapse occurred as shown in photo G and the red peak appears at the HTC curve. The experimental video is played back here from the probe immersion to the pre vapor film collapse. Here, yeah, the vapor film collapse scene is played by. Additional studies are being prepared to determine the cause of the vapor film pre collapse already noted. Based on the assumption that this phenomenon depends on supporting of the probe, a uh, prototype probe with a 0.2 mm diameter supporting wire similar to the original of the towers was fabricated. The supporting wire is a straight chromium armor sum cup. This was inserted into a hole in austenitic stainless steel sphere and the gap with the hole and the sun couple was filled with uh, heat resistance inorganic adhesive. The 0.5 mm wire pipe was made for compression. Return the same shape probe as Tawara's has been realized. We have decided to apply it to a different system instead of the Rotary type. As shown in the slide, the probe is emerged in a rotating quintet. This method makes it possible to increase the styling speed of the quintet. The design may emerge that has advantage over previous prototypes in the handling and management of the quintet and content. Material of the probe will be chained to the platinum. I'd like to summarize my talk. This presentation introduced uh, major studies and standardization activities on quantum characterization in Japan. Especially, it should be noted that JISK2526 was established uh, 30 years before ISO 9950. Since ISO 9950, came into force over 25 years ago, HCC inverse calculation method and measurement technology have been significantly updated. Thus, an international study on improvement measures in this area is awaited. Thank you for your kind attention.